Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. We get autographs TTM or through the mail. We've got six cards today, hopefully cards. Looks like cards anyway. And we're going to get right to it. Just uh, send your favorite athlete cards through the mail along with a self-addressed stamped envelope and a letter of request. And you'll be surprised how many times you can get a return. The first one's coming from North Houston, Texas. North Houston, Texas. Haywood Jeffries. Nice, I got that game day card. Hopefully it's signed. Oh, yeah. Three and four. I like those sideways cards, too. Pretty sweet. That pinnacle looks good with the black ink. We're definitely going to feature the game day card, though. I like those a lot. Look great with autographs. I know Disguise Cards is building a, trying to build a set or get as many cards as he can from that for good reason. They look great. Tall Boys. Need special uh, top loaders for these. That's okay. Haywood Jeffries. Fifty-six-year-old former receiver for ten seasons. Here he's in the fifth year of his career. Look at those receptions. He led the NFL in receptions that year with a hundred, even. Eight touchdowns the year before, seven this year. On his way to five hundred and thirty-five in his career, over six thousand yards and an even fifty touchdowns. Three times in the Pro Bowl. Eighteen days, no fee for Haywood Jeffries. All right, next one up, coming from Metroplex, Michigan. The Metroplex. All right, Mike Madonna. Mike Madonna, hockey. I don't know much about hockey. What I do know, Troy Kernan said, get his autograph. He's a Hall of Famer, one of the greatest of all time. I started researching, and I'm like, whoa, this guy's legit. So I think that's his rookie card. On the upper deck, and maybe both those scores are rookie cards too. But he played for a long, long time. He's 50 years old. He played forever. 21 seasons in the NHL. 89, 2011, Minnesota. As you see there early in his career, Dallas and Detroit. First overall pick. He was no bust, that's for certain. Leading all-time goals and points leader among American-born players in the entire history of the NHL. Pretty cool. Voted one of the NHL's greatest 100 players of all time, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2014. NHL wastes no time. He retired in 11, was in the Hall of Fame by 14. 38 days, no fee. NHL Hall of Famer, Mike Madano. Sweet return. How are we going to top that one? Next one, coming from Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. On the third, Haven Moses, he always takes time to sign him. My very best, Haven. Talked about getting his first shot on February 5th, get the vaccination. Pretty cool. Haven 25 on that, so that's one. Sent him a few cards. I just wanted to uh, finish up with him. Had got those two rookie cards. That's 70 tops of his rookie season. Kind of a double imprint there on the ink. If you can see that, it's kind of a double image. And then that 71 always looks sweet. He's got a great signature. Big afro in that one. On the 75 tops. All right. We've got to feature that rookie card, don't we? Even though that 71 tops looks so cool. Love that set. Haven, Haven, Haven. All right. He's 74 years old now. Receiver from 68 to 81, 14 years. First couple in the AFL, as you can see with those bills. Then he came over to the NFL with them for a couple years, and then he traded to the Broncos and spent nine with them. Had a great career. Two times in the Pro Bowl. One each for the Buffalo and one, each, one for Denver. 40, 448 receptions, almost 8,000 yards, and 57 touchdowns. He's in the Broncos' ring of fame. Got that back 10 days, no fee, and I'll count that as a 5 of 4 since he was nice enough to sign my note. Next one's coming from Santa Ana, California. 
Santa, Anna. Whoa, no hard card. One card in there. <laughs> Jim Everett on the game day. I do like these game day, but this has been out forever. Uh, I sent him two cards. He returned one. I'm glad to get it back. Glad he returned the game day. Um, 58 years old. He was a quarterback for 12 seasons. Look at those stats. He could put up the numbers. He played from 86 to 97. Was putting up the stats from a very early age. Second year, he was uh, already a star in the league. Played uh, most of his career with those L.A. Rams, as you see in the in the game day photo. Led the NFL in touchdowns two times. He only made one Pro Bowl, which is kind of surprising, but he played in an era with some all-time great quarterbacks, that's for certain. Made the Pro Bowl in 1990. He's the Rams' career leader in passing yardage with 35,000 in his career, 203 touchdowns in his career. Let's put that in the back so we can see it. Behind those Madonna cards. This is Larry, okay. Let's see. That's 184 days. One of two. He kept the second one. That's fine. No fee. 184 days. Jim Everett. All right. Next one's coming from Orlando, Florida. Orlando. Home of the Mickey. Mike Stanley. Mickey Stanley on Mickey Mouse. Mike Stanley, 57 years old, former catcher, as you see in his tools of ignorance. The Yankees, the Yankees, and the Rangers, where he started his career. Let's see here, 86 and 87, yep. Played from 86 to 2000 overall, five different teams, twice for the Yankees and twice for the Red Sox. Then most longest stint was for those uh, five or six years at the beginning of his career with the Rangers. I remember him with the Yankees, so we'll go ahead and feature that 92 Fleer Ultra card. Looks sweet with ink, as always. That 2000, let's see, what year is this Tops? 96 Tops, that came from Michael Ivey Collection. Thank you for that, Michael. Uh, pretty good hitting catcher, Mike Stanley was. He had 26 homers and 84 RBIs in, uh, for the Yanks in 93. Here in 91, he's got... Just starting to hit 95 games, 181 at-bats. Following two years, he's going to have 26 homers. Made the All-Star game in 95 for the Yankees. Claim to fame probably was catching uh, the last of Nolan Ryan's no-hitters. Nolan threw seven of them in his career. His last one was in 1991. And behind the plate, Mike Stanley. 15 days, no fee. First time we've gotten Mr. Stanley back. He's been a great signer for years. I don't know why I haven't gotten him back. Final one's coming from Little Rock, Arkansas. Could be Bill Clinton. It's Kevin McReynolds. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I took a gamble on this one a while back. This has been out a long time, too. Three of three. There was a little window of time when he was signing. I saw it, so I sent cards out, but that's been four or five months ago. Sent three, figuring, hey, if he signs one of them, I'll be lucky. He signed all three of them. Great. 61 years old. We'll feature that upper deck for Brett Jesse. I know he's salivating over that one. That 90 upper deck. He's trying to build all the upper deck sets. Uh, played for 12 seasons, 83 to 94. Uh, for three teams, Padres, Mets, and Royals. And then had a final reunion season with the Mets in 94. Uh, broke his wrist in the uh, National League Championship Series with the Padres in 84, so he didn't get a chance to play in the 84 World Series. And then he was traded to the Mets in 87, the year after New York won that great series over the Red Sox. Uh, maintained a low profile during his career and even after his career. So when, you, when I saw him signing, I hurry up and got those out in the mail. But uh, I figured they were gone. I figured that window had closed pretty tightly and pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. 144 days. 144 days. No fee. Kevin McReynolds. Nice. Quick recap. Thanks for watching, everyone. Haywood Jeffries, 18. Mike Madonna, 38. Haven Moses, 10. Jim Everett, 184. Kevin McReynolds, 144. And Mike Stanley, 15. Hey, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. I'll put a one-click subscription right there. 
And if you missed Monday's TTM video, I'll leave a one-click uh, link right there. You can watch it. And if you uh, enjoyed it the first time, watch it again. Thanks for being with me today. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite was. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.